Hey guys and welcome back, my name is O'Hapel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this virtual reality headset. This video is the companion video to the written tutorial that is going to be hosted over on roadtovr.com. Check the description for the link to that. It is going to be the full tutorial, this is just the overview video. What you'll get is for about $20 you'll get what you see on screen. It's a great homemade virtual reality headset with emphasis on being cheap and accessible to as many people as possible. It doesn't take a whole lot of technology, doesn't take a whole lot of time or money. First off, the pros, it's very cheap to make. Like I said, you should be able to make this between 20 and $30. Mine costs somewhere around 18, but if you're not as resourceful on getting your parts or if you have to buy a hot glue gun or something like that, it could cost upwards of maybe $50, not too expensive overall. Other benefits, you can play most Oculus Rift games. If it allows mouse control, you can play it. Additionally, you can play most standard PC games in 3D on the virtual reality headset, kind of to turn it into virtual reality. That means you can play Portal 2, you can play Skyrim, you can play Tribes, you can play Halo 1, you can play Minecraft, you can play all sorts of stuff. And additionally, it can be used like the NVIDIA Shield, where you're actually streaming it from a different room. So you can play with an Xbox controller and your head-mounted display in another room away from your computer and still get the great gaming experience. Now for the cons, it's not super easy to set up if you're not technically minded. If you're used to using more complex computer programs or maybe have some do-it-yourself experience, this is not that hard of a project. If you're maybe younger or new to this kind of thing, it may be a little bit difficult for you, but I'm sure that you will be able to get through it with our instructions. Second of all, it uses mouse control for head tracking, which is kind of a pro and a con. This is what allows it to be compatible with so many games. This is why you can play Skyrim on it with very little modification. You can play Minecraft, all that stuff. But at the same time, it doesn't give you a true virtual reality experience because you don't get that head body separation like you might from the Oculus Rift. Lastly, there is a a display lag where this might be 10 to 100 milliseconds depending on your computer and your network um, and that takes you out of the virtual reality space a bit and can increase motion sickness in people that have a tendency to get motion sick so keep that in mind if you are going to dive into this project you're not getting the quite as good of an experience as you might with an oculus rift but again you're only paying 20 to 30 bucks for it I should note that this project can be done with a Durovis Dive. That is a very similar head-mounted display that uses your phone. Um, and what that allows you to do is not have to build the box. It's a much more professional looking device. But again, that will cost you a little bit more. You can check the links in the description or in that tutorial for links to Durovis. It's D-U-R-O-V-I-S dot com. Now what you see on screen is the programs that it takes to actually get this to work. There's only two programs that are absolutely required, and that's FreeTrack, which is the program you see on the top left. And what that does is it detects the LED and moves it around and tracks your mouse around with the LED. The second program that you absolutely must have is called Splashtop. It is a paid program that you have to get on your phone and on your computer, and what that does is it allows you to mirror your computer display on your phone to get it in the head-mounted display. This is to save you costs from having to actually go out and buy a display for your head-mounted unit. Other programs that I recommend, TriDef 3D is great. It allows you to play lots of games like Portal, Skyrim, Seven Days to Die without having to actually go in and mod them or anything like that. And also, you saw us using key sticks there. That's how we're able to interface our wireless Xbox 360 controller with the games. But it also requires you to have the wireless USB adapter for the Xbox 360 controller. Now, this is what you actually see. You see that my game is mirrored on the phone. Just throw it in the head-mounted display real quick in that slot. It is held nice and secure with elastic so it doesn't shake around. We put it on my head again with elastic bands, flip the switch for the LED, and immediately head tracking starts to take effect. You can see that as I look around, the character model is looking around, and you do get true stereoscopic 3D here. You, you, what you see is the left screen goes to your left eye, the right screen goes to your right eye. You can adjust the sensitivity and all that to really make it a very immersive experience. And then when you're also couple that in with possibly using the Xbox 360 controller, it can be a very fun gaming experience. It's not as it's not the absolute best virtual reality experience you'll get, but it is very, very fun. And you can just get into the game, get a little bit more immersed in Minecraft or whatever you're into, Skyrim maybe, and really just have a good time using your head to look around like you see here and using the controller to control your person. If you don't want to use the controller, you can also use the mouse and keyboard. Anyways guys, that was just a short overview to show you how this project actually works when it's in action. 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. You can post them in the comments section of this video on my YouTube channel. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Go check out Road to VR if you're watching this on my channel, and I hope you have a great day.